starting to really play with some confidence and we had some guys contribute that I thought was good to the minutes were low and be able to get some young guys some minutes and uh, get a little bit of a flow and uh, get that bad taste from Friday out of our mouth. Uh, 51 to 23 rebounding edge. I know it's Ave Maria, but that's exactly what you want to see, right? We need to rebound the ball better. We hadn't early in the season especially, and I think that's something we've really emphasized. Uh, you know, Meech, having Meech out there also helps. It, 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 you know, when the ball's on the rim, he's a little bit he's active, and he needs to rebound the ball better. But uh, our, our perimeter guys have done a better job, and, and our post guys are continuing to get better. Uh, when you're playing an opponent like this, it gives you the opportunity to, as long as the team is executing, um, experiment a little more with different uh, lineup choices, players together. Do you feel like you got that opportunity today? Definitely. I mean, we got the young guys. We were able to play Ray some, some, and Kevin with some small lineups, and it's also good. And it doesn't seem like it. Reggie, Zach, and those guys, the more minutes they get, the better they're going to get because they get they get to see different things. And, you know, having those guys out there for playing them together, I think that we got a lot of the combinations in that we don't want to look at today. Now, uh, locker room mood after this win, does it seem like you guys got a little extra confidence boost heading into one of your toughest matchups in the season? Well, uh, the biggest thing we talked about was playing the right way. I mean, let, make sure that we do what we're supposed to do and, and uh, preparing for a and I mean, every, every day it's a tryout. So we, we've got a, a lot of things to, to evaluate and look at and get ready to play A&M on Wednesday. Christian, you were part of this game last year where uh, it was a fight at halftime. Uh, what was the difference this year? Um, I think we just wanted to come out and attack them first and not let them dictate the, the pace of the game. Kevin, you had a double-digit scoring. How do you think you're adjusting to the style of play at this level? I think I'm adjusting well. I'm right because right now it's a learning experience for me as well. Because uh, this is my first year playing at this level. I know you have. Uh, I know you're a high energy guy, but like, how have you, how have you used that to parlay it into success at this level? Oh, yeah, cause, uh, high, high energy is everything. When because uh, your energy goes to another player and another player, you know, that's, that's high energy is everything. Um, Christian, obviously, career day for you. Um, how does it feel to rebound from uh, that Florida game and come out with this performance? Um, well, I think that this game it was good for me shooting the ball, and I think it got, can get me into it a little bit in the next coming games. But other than that, I just try to play with confidence every game and, and do the best I can. Yeah, of course, being in Dunk City, it seems like you almost waited for an opportunity to dunk to break that career high there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was that on your mind at all? Um, not really. I just wanted to make a play at the rim, but that was my first dunk here, I believe. And yeah, I just wanted to attack the rim and get points. Uh, coach, uh, Texas A&M, they just knocked off Gonzaga. Obviously, they're playing really well. What do you know about them, and how do you think you match up on Wednesday? Very experienced team. When you look at their stats, you know, they're shooting 42 from three, 51 from the floor. People, should be, people are shooting 39% from the floor against them. Experienced, you know, with Collins, a redshirt senior, and Caruso, and their frontline guys, Morales and Davis and all those guys. They've, they've got a very good team. They're, they're an NCAA Sweet 16 type team. Uh, Billy's done a really good job. They've grown that program, grown it and grown it. Um, great win over uh, Gonzaga. Great win over Texas the night before that, and then you know they lost to Syracuse in a hard-fought game. So we've we've got a lot of things to prepare for, and we've got a, a, a terrific opponent. Now, Christian, you're making your third career start here. Uh, were you fairly aware, well, ahead of time that you'd make the start tonight, or was this close to um, like a? Um, um, well, I knew Julian was sitting out because of something. I'm not sure exactly sure what happened, but yeah, I knew a couple of days in advance that I was going to I'm gonna start. Today. Um, coach, uh, what was it? Uh, what factored into the decision to give uh, Christian a start, and not to give too much away, but was it just chances against Texas A&M? No, nah, well, Ju Julian. I mean, was we're trying to rest his ankle a little bit. He had nicked it up, so I mean, he could have played tonight very easily. But we thought with another day, with yesterday and today off, it really would help him get continue to get better. So instead of putting some more minutes and some wear and tear on Julian, we sat him out tonight to get that ankle healthy. So it was a precautionary thing with Julian tonight? Yeah, he could have played. Uh, but we just thought with, with between yesterday and today, the days off would really help him get continue to get better. Um, how do you feel uh, Meech is coming along, speaking of uh, injuries and healing up? He, you know, the, the, how quickly he's recovered is, is terrific, and he still, you know, we, we still don't have him for practice much. Uh, we need, to, which we'll get him in the next couple of weeks to where he can get some repetition, some minutes. But he, I thought at the end of the year he played really well. He was really developing, and uh, it was a little bit of a setback that he wasn't able to practice. But now he's getting healthy, and we'll get him back in practice. And I think his play will just continue to get better and better.
all the young guys well. I mean, Kevin's getting some minutes. He needs some minutes out there. And the other thing is having Meach in practice and Patson in practice. Um, you know, now we got some bodies that we're not wearing our own guys out. Now, um, first half, the 21 uh, point run over, I think it was about seven minutes there. Is that what you want to see against a team like this? Well, I think the big thing is energy. You know, we want to get out and play, play like we want to play, and make sure that we have some energy and get out and run and, and you know, try to create some atmosphere and, and energy for ourselves. Christian, these big nights from here are just becoming routine. What, talk about your jump between this, uh, last year and this season, like the, you being aggressive as an offensive threat now. Yeah, um, I worked really hard this summer with uh, my old teammates and stuff like that. And every game I just want to come out and be aggressive and help the team win any way I can. And today it was scoring the ball. Anything else? Chris, if you could just comment on Texas A&M and your thoughts about playing them. Um, we're really excited about playing them because we played pretty well in the first half against Florida. We're just trying to uh, link the link two halves together and hopefully we have a chance to beat them. I'm not sure, I'm not really familiar with them, how they play or anything like that, but uh, I know we're very excited to compete against them.